He is so pure. He knows how to lightning loop, but he doesn't do it. You want to know why? Because it's cheating. Yeah. <laughs> His words. Does he really say that? Yes. I love this guy. So when already. he's angry, he'll lightning, he'll lightning loop. Yo, this kid is sad. He has been. Yo, oh, no. no. Monkey man. Monkey man, no. But it's okay. He knows this matchup. Yo. Let's go. Monkey man. Let's go. We're Let's standing go. up over here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Immediate Woo! retaliation against Mark Sling. Of course, I don't know who Mark Sling is, but yo, man, I'll be honest. You're playing against the crowd right now. Yeah, you guy. are. Ooh, I can see everyone's eyes over. Oh, no! Oh! Man, not able to sweet spot the legend, just going for the down smash. Mark Sling uh, Mark Sling is looking for the upset right now. He as definitely is. just goes for it. Just goes for it. All right. But Monkey Man is actually somewhat uh, familiar with this matchup. He does play against Paper Man. Another K rule here from Long Island. So let's see how this one's going to turn out. All right. Yeah, man. He's able to get these combos off. Going immediately for the safe damage on the Thunder. Not going to go for any sort of back air or anything like that. Or lightning loops because that's cheating, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like no, look at look at the spacing. Look at like the the patience from Monkey Man. But he's holding forward a little too much, and that's definitely what's costing him right now. Yeah, he does play hyper aggressive right now. But it's so good on K. Roll, a big body character. Um, he's able to get at, if not the first hit forward, and the second and third, and the finish as well. And now he is really pressing his advance right now, even though he is down a stock. But ooh, Mark Sling. He's looking for the KO right now. Oh my god, that's the dash attack. 140. Uh, oh. He's going for that thunder a lot, and Mark Sling is definitely ready and waiting for it. Oh my god, that Nair. I think that Nair could kill. Yeah, Pichu's pre he's pretty light. He's pretty light. Light is in the game. <laughs> and a big boy with a lot of rage. I know rage isn't that big of a problem that it wasn't Smash 4, but it's still something. Yeah. It definitely is still something. Oh, the counter hit? Yo, Mark Sling is feeling himself right now. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was definitely feeling it right there. <laughs> I, I mean, he did SD the first stop. He did. So, like, let's take a look at this right now. Um, gets the uh, dash tech, I believe. Yeah. But uh, and here look goes at the that. Thun. Oh, man. Respect on, because that is what uh, Monkey Man did to take down that first stock. <laughs> He did, so you know what, Mark Sling, somewhat conditioned, and he decided to just go for it. Yeah. And a bit of a highlight right there. Now, uh, did we hear the character switch out? Nah, I heard Pichu. Oh, okay, I thought I, thought I heard Inkling for some reason. But we are going to be seeing the Pichu again on Final Destination. He is going, he doesn't want Harold to have the opportunity to run, just choosing the flattest stage of the moment and getting these beautiful combos in from a 10-year-old? This is yeah. impressive. And look at the adjustment. I immediately thought he was going to do a Thunder, but he did it. He said, Jeff, I know what you're thinking. Oh, oh my god! Monkey Man! Let's go, Monkey Man! Let's go, man. Monkey Man! Okay. <laughs> okay, he's back in this. That SD was nothing. Mark Sling um, has been playing it really well, but we got to keep in mind of that initial SD. Um, is, is he going to be able to readjust to this? But right now, he is smothering him. He's yes, he is. smothering him. Monkey Man trying to go for as much extra credit as possible, especially, whoa, okay. trying to go for a replay of game one, but he said, stop that, I know what I'm doing now. Yeah, I mean, it could definitely be the stream nerves because he's playing like a man possessed right now, lapping him in percent. Oh, oh, oh the, the last hit! The butt hitbox also on a big boy, Monkey Man, with th still on three stocks, stalling a little bit with the down B again. Marksley trying to go for that down down smash cheese, but uh, right now that cheese is spoiled. Right now, 150 on Monkey Man. Oh no! Oh uh, no! He's still living, Monkey Man. Uh oh, that. Okay, smart. he just immediately goes to ledge. That was a very smart option uh, coming in from this Pichu, and oh, almost got him on the spike hit box. Man, this kid's putting in the work. He is 194 on Pichu. No, like. This is insane! Yeah! You no. would think, just being such a small character, he would have been exploded already, but it's an avail. Okay, <laughs> but the crown of all things takes it! On the way back right now. <laughs> this is Monkey Man. 
playing with three stocks. Yeah. <laughs> this is Monkey Man. This is his game right now. All he has to do is get a few more Thunders, and that seems to be his favorite kill It uh, is confirm, honestly. I think the biggest thing that Monkey Man needs to do is he needs to recognize when he has the lead and when to just relax and chill out. Because Wait. he could exactly to... Oh, my God. He did it again. Monkey Man, dude. <laughs> Monkey Ooh. Man, see, I can already feel that you know, you, you know, people are are sleeping on Monkey Man because they leave you know, that little SD. Uh -huh. But that was a freshman forty two stock. Can I be real with you? What's up? When you sit in front of a ten year old, you kind of have like this thing inside your head, like maybe I should go a little easy because they're ten. No. This man just got a two stock. Oh my oh, no. God. <laughs> This is... I am so glad I get to commentate a Monkey Man set, guys. Like, you don't even know. And again, a quick set right now. We're at the game three, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this set has gone less than 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, my God. We're running it right back to PS2. Yo, I think we run DSR, so you know what that means? Monkey Man, let him! Oh, man. I mean, that's just confidence right there. I mean, he does like the flat stages, as we saw from that final destination. Pick. Might be a little bit of that Wi-Fi warrior in him. Maybe. Um, yeah, because I imagine you're 10. You're not getting to that many events, so this is his opportunity. No, he to goes make to as many Sundayons and uh, and uh, Friday as much as possible. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna say it again, Monkey Man. Oh my, my god. My god. <laughs> like. Oh, that's going to be yeah, death. Yeah, that's going to be death right there. Getting him on the neutral get up, but we're going back. Now we have a An fight. An even game. Yeah. Yes. I'm, oh. I want to bring up, like, I love how he's using these thunder jolts in order to cave his way in. A very common tactic used by Pichu, such as Void, and even Pikachu, Esam. Um, but he's really doing it well. Unfortunately, right now, it's not really paying off to any avail because he's counter-hitting with these really quick aerials, and they do. Monkey Man, you know, playing a glass cannon character, but right now, from what I'm seeing, definitely making this character look more than just a glass cannon. Ooh. Living to so long right now. Like, uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, there he, he goes. You, you, you can't really land, land on a K rule. Yeah. Cause that up air is scary. On top of that, he's got up air, up smash, up tilt. Like pretty much anything up hits directly above him, and it's such a solid option right there. Let's see if Monkey Man's gonna be able to bring this back. Might be bustering a little bit under the pressure of this oh, camera. No. Oh no! Reads the roll, and that is going to be it. But we see the fist bump right there. Good sportsmanship and a great. I am very honored to have casted that game. Yeah, no, definitely. Monkey